All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn discuss an extremely powerful tool in Microsoft Excel. Basically, go over pivot tables and pivot charts in Microsoft Excel and go over an introduction. You can do a lot more advanced stuff with pivot tables, but I'll do that in a later video. Basically, uh, what pivot tables do is, it does is allow you to analyze dynamically lots of data very quickly, which is quite amazing. I'll go over this uh, example. This is just a, a small table I made where this just has the date up to, I guess, March. And there's the type of each row, sales or expense. I just had these two. And this cost, This I just use a random function. This is all just random. And there's a tax. This one that is a 12% tax. So as you can see, yeah, this is just a random data. And, and then with pivot tables, it allows you to analyze all these uh, very quickly and dynamically. Uh, in my earlier video, I went over automated tables, so make sure to watch that one. That's to just modify this table by itself. But with pivot tables, it allows you to do much more and quicker. So if you highlight it all, click insert. So you can go pivot table. I usually click both pivot table and pivot chart. So it allows you to do a graph what the table is. So there's our data we selected. You could also use an external source. And uh, you could also now here choose where you want to add your pivot table, either new sheet or existing worksheet, and just pick a location. You could even add this data to a data model, which is multiple uh, tables inside a pivot table. And I'll go over that in a later video. So if I just click OK, just then in a new sheet. So now this is our pivot table. This is our pivot chart right here. And this is the data that it's connected to. And as you see here, there's pivot chart fields. So this allows you basically to, uh, yeah, basically, yeah, to group and modify your data visually. So you can go, let's just say we want to, okay, so we want to graph the date and the cost. So I just click them. You could also drag and drop like that. Etc. As, as you can that's multiple there, let's take it out. I'll, I'll, and as you can see, this, this table automatically changes, and now this chart automatically changes as well, which is quite amazing. So I click the tax on there, and there's the graph shown there. I'll make it on its own just to see it better. So move chart in a new sheet. Okay, so that's how that looks. I'll just change the chart type. You could change it in, uh, using a combo, different stuff, or I just like using the line. Okay, so this is the date now, and that's the red is the tax, and the blue is the uh, yeah the blue is is the cost. So as you can see here, um, uh, with this one here, we these are these values are the sum. So we're using sum, and this is a, and you could also change it to average, etc. So when we go back to our data, as you can see, this is what it's being plotted. But since all the road rows every single day is is different, then you're gonna have uh, each each day is gonna be different. So whether you use average or sum, it's gonna be the same thing. What if we were to modify it right here? Let's call this January first, 2015. Um, yeah, so we, now we have two days that are both January 1st. So if we go back here, so it hasn't updated, so you would go analyze. Now you could refresh. You could refresh all your pivot tables. Just click all. There's only one. So anyway, so now as you can see, there's only one January 1st. January 2nd has been skipped, but now we've added the sum. So that's uh, quite amazing, actually. We just added these two. So 232 plus 552 is equal to 784. And and now what you could do here is is change this. Let's go to average. So if you go average, so there you go. That's an average 392. It's taxes an average. You could even go. Um, now you can even modify to the max or other uh, stuff like this max, or you do a product of multiplying two numbers or something, and then you could do that. I'll just stick with stick with the sum. So we go back to it here, and now the cool thing is you could use this filter one. I'll put this uh, this filter right here, which is quite amazing. So as you can see over here at the top, you click it. You could either select both of them, or, or if you have different a lot of them, you could select multiple ones or select one at a time. I'll click expense only. So now we're looking at only the expense, and see how quickly I was able to do that. I quickly able to uh, see the expense plus the tax spent. So it's total, 
change it back to sales yeah and there you go with the sales it's super quick and you could see that and then you could also inst let's say you don't want to do this filter thing you could just throw this filter into the legend so now you'll have both of them at the same time yeah so this has now there's four stuff there's the cost and expenses cost of sales uh, tax of expense tax of sales that yeah and the chart they don't connect to each other yeah, and they don't uh, connect each other because uh, this the data I did was random so there's a lot of dates without data right there okay, and now when a very useful and very cool tool you could do is uh, is in this to make it just a bit more easy to see because just deal with set of daily look at monthly uh, revenue etc etc go back to now our sheet 2 where it has our pivot table you can right click here or pretty much anywhere you want to right click so let's go on the row labels which is the date and we can group it now we can group it by minutes days or months so I'll put this by the month which is super cool so now we have three months worth it has the sum of cost the sum of sales you know that's the sum of uh, expenses and the sum of sales and there's the taxes the summation and you can go here quickly change into let's say an average so everything's an average or oh, the cost is an average it's the tax is still some so this is quite amazing like just the speed that I'm able to analyze all this data and as you can see there's a total sales you can see the monthly one super quickly and all from this just this blank data right here and now you as you can see here you have the monthly one so it looks a lot better now visually let's change this chart type so you could also when you go change the chart type as you can see you could plot these you can make them as a secondary axis etc so you could make the, the taxes on the secondary one or the primary one or all of them the same let's call you now you could change these each one separately or you can do all all the same time I'll just go to columns I'll make it like this so as you can see there's our monthly oh yeah so our, our expense uh, I did a random function so we in this case we're losing a lot of money the cost is how much we're, we're making now this is the sales this is expense and there's our taxes of both of the two so as you can see this is super cool oh, you can visually see that and and the fact that we can create that I, well I just created there all in one go from this just this uh, data source right here but uh, anyways that's all for today hopefully you learned from this also I just want to quickly here you can also change if you right click there you could change yeah, so if you right click any of these go format data series there's another whole data series around here you could change how it looks you could click plot on secondary axis so as you can see the red one yeah this one becomes on the secondary if you want you could also right click this format axis and values in reverse order so it's upside down so you can do a lot of cool stuff I'll just put this back into primary axis and close this so anyways uh, that's all for today hopefully you'll learn from this video and also as, as you can see there's a filter there you could modify that as well so you could take that off so it, it, the legend can serve as a filter as well and that just shows sales so there's just so, so much you could do and and visually analyze so much data even if this was like let's say like uh, like th 30,000 data points which I used to have for my masters in engineering when I was doing a thesis and and uh, with pivot tables you can analyze it all super quickly it just saves hours and hours of of uh, analysis anyways that's all for today hopefully you learned from this video and uh, yeah try this out for yourself I'll also put this exact Excel sheet in the link below you can download it if you want to play around with what I've done too anyways that's all for today hopefully you learned and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution